Hey ladies, it's Deanna from TheLiveFitGirls.com and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different for our workout. We're going to be doing a total body stretch using a little bit of yoga to help you relax. share with you my brand new yoga mat. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with it. It's from Yoga Design Labs and what's really really awesome about it is it actually is a towel and a yoga mat in one. So if you ever do hot yoga or if you have really sweaty palms like I do, I know, kind of gross, but if you have really sweaty palms like I do and you feel like you're slipping all over the place during your yoga practice, this is the mat for you. It is an actually non-stick, non-slip mat. So, to share my love of this with you, there's actually a discount code in the description down below so that you can get 10% off your Yoga Design Lab mat. So, let's get started and get stretching. All right, let's jump right into it. So, come to the front of your mat, feet hip distance apart. And you're going to take a nice deep inhale in, extend through your spine just a little bit, and then exhale, hinge forward at your hips, dive those hands forward, and forward fold. Good, take a breath or two here, bend those knees if you really need to. Good. Crown of the head is reaching down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in. Good, and exhale. And then step that right foot back behind you, followed by the left, and sit back into a downward facing dog. Good, hips are lifting up towards the ceiling. Bend one knee to walk the dog out, and then switch. Good, switch one more on each side. You can walk it out as many times as you want at home. Let's bring it back into a plank position here. And you're gonna step your right foot forward right between those hands and then extend that right arm up towards the ceiling, get a little spinal twist, as well as a nice stretch through that front hip, and that back hip is also gonna get a nice stretch in the front of the hip in the hip flexor. Good, bring that right hand back down, step that right foot back, and then step that left foot in. Good, reach it up, rotate, so this is gonna be a great full body stretch right here that gets the legs, the spine, it opens up the chest. Good. Bring it back down. Step that left foot back. Back down into a downward facing dog. Good. And if you need to, widen those feet just a little bit for a little bit of extra stability. Keep the right hand where it is and then thread that left arm underneath. Twist through that spine. So think of keeping that back nice and straight. Good. A little balance challenge here. Good. Left hand comes back, and then you're going to thread that right arm underneath, reach towards the opposite ankle. Good. Heels are reaching down. Nice deep breaths in. Bring that right hand back. Feet come back, hip distance apart. Come into a plank position, and then lower it down. So elbows stay nice and close in. Untuck those toes. Sweep those arms behind you, reach the palms down towards the floor into a locust. And then if you can, bring those feet off of the mat. Good, see if you can even bring the thighs off of the mat as well. Good, so this is strengthening that back body, strengthening those back muscles, helping improve your posture, getting nice and long and tall. Good, hands come back down and you're gonna Slide yourself forward and up into a cobra. So you can do this on your elbows or on your hands, or you can go to up dog, lifting those hips off of the mat. That's totally fine. Good. And then when you're ready, sit back into a child's pose. Good, hold it here. Keep your right hand where it is. And you're gonna thread your left arm underneath, and you'll feel a nice stretch through those shoulders. Good, deep breath. Think about breathing into the back lungs. Stretching everything out. This is a great sequence for anybody who works at a desk all day. 
and really tight hips, really tight chest, anything like that. So try and do this every single day, especially after your workouts, bring it back to a child's pose. Good, take one or two deep breaths here. Good, and then let's bring it onto hands and knees. Hands are directly underneath the shoulders, knees are right underneath those hips. We're gonna do a few cat and calves here. So pull your belly button up towards your spine. Good, and then arch it through into a cow stretch. Good, pull your belly button up, cat stretch, rounding that upper back towards the ceiling. You can shift your hips side to side a little bit, get that lower back stretched out, and then you'll arch it through. And again, you can shift those hips a little bit if you'd like. Let's do one more here. Pull it up and then bring it all the way through. Good, chest is coming forward, opening up through the chest. Good. Now, let's come all the way down onto our belly. And this is gonna be a really, really big shoulder and chest opener. So, you are going to extend your left arm straight and you are actually gonna roll onto that left arm to open it up so it's behind you. You can put your top leg either flat on the floor, you can reach and grab it to stretch out your quadricep in the front, whatever feels good for you. And I'm going to take my top hand, if you don't have the flexibility for this, this is fine, this is a big enough stretch for a lot of people, otherwise you're going to clasp your hand behind and stretch it out. Good, opening up through the chest, deep breaths here, I know this is a really, really big stretch for a lot of people. so. Whatever variation you need to do. Some people like that top leg flat. Whatever feels best for you. Just a nice deep breath. Gently release it. And then roll back onto your stomach. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You'll be able to see it a little bit better on this side. So right arm is extended out straight to the side. And then you are going to roll onto that right arm and then put that top foot flat on the floor. You can keep it straight if you'd like. You can grab a hold of it with your left hand, whatever works. And you're just gonna take a few deep breaths here. And if you would like, if you have the flexibility, reach your top arm behind, clasp it and hold. And just a few deep breaths. Again, this is a really, really big stretch, but it's really great for your posture. So whatever variation you need to do, find it and make sure that you are comfortable with it. Good, gently release, bring it back, good. Now, let's bring it all the way up and sit it back into a child's pose. We just have a few more stretches here, so bear with me. Good, roll yourself up, bring those knees together. And this is actually gonna be a really big stretch for your feet. So I was a dance major in college and I know a lot of people do not actually have a lot of flexibility in their feet. So it's important to work on your flexibility for your feet because it's your base. You wanna make sure your feet are healthy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck your toes under here and you're actually just gonna sit your hips on it and have a nice stretch here. So this is gonna stretch out the bottoms of your toes the arches of your feet a little bit. If you need a little bit more support here, you could put a pillow underneath your hips so that you're not so far down. Otherwise, hold it here. If you need a little extra stretch, you can put those hands down towards the floor, fingertips facing you, and get a nice chest opener and shoulder stretch here as well. So just a few deep breaths. Good. Nice job, ladies. And then when you're ready, tuck your chin towards your chest, come back up, and release those feet. You can shake it out a little bit. Good. Now we're gonna do the same and stretch the tops of our feet. So you're gonna have those toes reaching back behind you. So you're on the tops of your feet. You're gonna have those hands back behind you. This may be a big stretch for you here. Otherwise, you're gonna lift those hips up and stretch the toes. Good, deep breath. You can even come down onto your elbows if you have the flexibility. If not, stay up. I'm not quite there yet. Good. And then 
to tuck the chin towards the chest. Let's bring it back into that child's pose. We're gonna get a nice little spinal twist, uh, nice little spinal, um, not twist, a nice little bend and rotation through that spine. So you're gonna bring the right hand over to the side on the outside of your mat. Bring the left hand on top of it. Get a nice stretch through the left side body. Good. Bring it back. Walk those hands over to the left side. Right hand comes on top. Getting a stretch through that right side body. Good. And then bring it back to center. One more deep breath here. Good. And then roll it up. And we're actually going to lay on our mat to finish up. So lay on back. Hug those knees in towards your chest. You can rock around a little bit to massage out your lower back if you would need to, if you like. And we're gonna go into one of my favorite stretches. It really opens up those hips. You're gonna place the hands on the inside of the arches of the feet. We're gonna go into happy baby. So imagine you're making footprints on the ceiling with those feet, those knees are bent, and you are going to think about pressing into those hands with the, the into the feet with the hands as you simultaneously press into the hands with the feet. So it's equal pressure. Pressing into the hands, pressing into the feet. Try and get those hips down onto the mat as much as you can. Keep the back nice and flat. Really open up through those inner thighs, through the hips. You could rock side to side here. See what works. Good. And then bring it back to center. Bend the knees, bring the feet towards each other. Hug those knees in one last time. And you're gonna extend the left arm out, or the left leg straight as you keep that right knee in towards your chest. Little rotation just to finish everything off. So right hand comes out to the side and you're gonna bring those hips over to the right a little bit as you rotate that right knee down across the left side of the body for a nice spinal twist. Good. A few deep breaths, you can watch, you can gaze out over that right hand Otherwise, look straight up towards the ceiling. Bring it back to the center. Even out those hips. Give it a little squeeze. And then send it out to meet the left leg. And you bring that left knee in towards the chest. Good. Hold it in. And then you're going to bring those hips over to the left a little bit. Extend the left arm out. And then cross that left knee over to the right side of the body. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, again, gazing up towards the ceiling or over that hand, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Remember, always listen to your body. I am your guide, but your body is in control. So make sure you listen to it. Make sure you're kind to it. Bring it back in, even out those hips. Hug those knees in one last time. I'm gonna extend those arms and legs out, reaching long. Good. Imagine that you are the rope in a game of tug of war. Somebody's pulling on those ankles, somebody else is pulling on those wrists. Get nice and long, and then bring those arms by your side. Close your eyes and take a few incredibly deep breaths. Get your heart rate to slow down, relax as much as you can. Good, full deep breaths in, and make sure you exhale all of that air out. Nice, full, breaths. Good. And then when you're ready, you can roll yourself up. And you should feel amazing after that stretch. So make sure you stretch every single day, especially after your workouts. This stretch is amazing for after workouts, after a run. If you wake up in the morning and you feel a little bit stiff, this is perfect, perfect, perfect for you. It's nice and short. It gets every single muscle and you will feel nice and long and stretched afterwards. So remember there's a discount code for this beautiful mat down below. They have a whole bunch of different designs that are really, really beautiful. So there's a discount code down below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this workout video and also subscribe for more workouts and recipes every single week and check out the LimpitGirls.com for tons and tons more recipes, workouts, and motivation. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.